Hi, my name is Steve Goodrow with Acrobat Enterprise Support. Welcome to IT Tips and Tricks. Internet URL access for Adobe Acrobat and Adobe Reader. The Trust Manager provides tools for specifying permissions for all or specific URLs. Let's have a look. There are a couple of ways you can do this. The first is in the application itself. So let's launch Adobe Acrobat 10. Go to Edit, Preferences. In the Categories pane, let's select Trust Manager, which is already selected here. And then we've got a couple of settings. And the one we're interested in is Internet access from PDF files outside the web browser. Unless explicitly permitted, PDF files cannot send information to the Internet. So if you want to change those settings, let's click this button. Okay, so here we're managing the internet access. In the first section, PDF files may connect to the website to share or get information. You can allow PDF files to access all websites, have custom setting, or block PDF files access to all websites. In this uh, particular example, we are going to add a website, and we're going to take the one that's given for host name here www.example.com and we're going to allow it and it's set to always allow now we can set this up to block as well so www. we'll say bad example dot com and we will always block. So you have the options set to do this and now if there are websites that are not listed above here you can set the behavior for that as well. The default behavior for websites that are not in the above list will always ask, allow access, that means you won't get prompt, and then block access and you will get a dialogue for that. Okay, let's take a look and see what this looks like in the registry because that's the second spot where you can set this preference. Okay, it's located in HKEY Current User, Software, Adobe, the name of the product, Adobe Acrobat, the version of the product, in this case 10.0, and then it's in Trust Manager, and then C Default Launch URL Perms, and T Host Perms. Let's have a look at that value. If you'll notice, there we have www.badexample.com and it has a value of 3 set to it which is always block and here we have www.example.com which is set to a value of 2 which is always allow so let's take a look at some of the other settings that you can do in the administrators information manager And here we have Aim for Acrobats into the Internet Access area. And we've got the summary table that lists the registry entries, host perms, unknown URL perms, URL perms. You can click host perms and it'll take you to that section. Or it will take you to one of the other sections if you click those links too. But it gives you the detailed information and the values that are necessary for the area. Now, if you'd like to look up other areas within Acrobat, it's as simple as going to the preference reference and looking up an item. For instance, enhanced security. And here are the areas that are present that you can actually select. Trust managers an area, and we were just there. 
scroll down and there you go there's enhanced security now another document that you might want to look at is the application security guide it has uh, several documents that are available and you can find it at go URL http colon forward slash forward slash www.adobe.com forward slash go forward slash learn underscore ACR underscore app security underscore EN. If you'd like to get AIM, you can get AIM at http colon forward slash forward slash learn dot adobe dot com forward slash wiki forward slash download forward slash attachments forward slash four six four three two six five zero forward slash AIM dot AIR. Thanks, and we'll see you again next time.